Okay guys, uh, tomorrow, there's two uh, kind of distinct separate pieces for tomorrow. Um, towards where we're like an upper body endurance uh, type workout. And then we have like some straight up uh, aerobic conditioning at the end with a partner ideally. So again, try to grab a partner before class if you can, if you're hopping in on a class, um, so we can move right from one thing to the next. Okay, and everyone knows who the partners are. Uh, I'm not gonna go over the partner version, it's super simple. Um, you all understand it when you read it. Um, so I won't waste a ton of time on it, but just try to be prepared um, for that for class. If you're doing it on your own, again, it's really self-explanatory, so just, just, read the, just read the workout and try. But first up, okay, we have 20 minute AMRAP. So again, lots of scaling options here. I'll go over it as written. So five burpee to strict pull up, 10 ring dips, 15 to 10 calories on the machine. So 15 calories for the guys, 10 calories for the girls. Uh, burpee strict pull up. Okay, again, pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna hit your burpee. Okay, you're gonna get to your bar, dead hang, strict pull up, back down. That's one. Okay, so pretty simple on that one. First scale there. Okay, you're gonna do five burpees plus five single arm bent over rows on each side. Okay, unsupported. Okay, so you'll hit five burpees, then you'll hit single arm row, again, shoulders set, chest out. Five on one side, switch, five on the other. Uh, if you can't do that, you don't have enough weight. Okay, you could do a heavy bent over row with a backpack, okay, if it's loaded heavy enough. Okay, or Okay, if you've got rings at home, okay, or draping the towel over the door, okay, lean back to the towel pull, okay, for a set uh, of five. So, whatever version of that you're doing, it's either five burpees and you do a strict pull up, so burpee then pull up, or you're gonna do five burpees plus five pulling movements. Okay, so that's first exercise and it scales. Uh, the dips. Uh, ring dip, you guys know what a ring dip is. Kipping is allowed if you have rings at home. Okay, if you don't, okay, the kitchen countertop corner ring dip, I've demoed it a few times. Um, obviously I don't have a kitchen countertop in here, but it actually works really well. I, I, I really enjoy doing that one. Um, you can do dips off a box, okay, or a ledge of some sort. Okay, I'm not a giant fan of that exercise, um, but for this workout, it'd be fine. Um, even having two boxes and having your hips in between it, also fine. Any one of those dipping options is fine. If you can't do that, regular push-up, also fine, okay? Again, keep the push-ups with good, clean form. No worms, elevate if you have to, okay? And then lastly, okay, if you don't have a machine, I know most of us don't, okay, but I did give out everything in the gym, so there are people that have it. You can do a 50-foot body weight walking lunge, okay? Sorry, I lied to you. A 50 foot weighted walking lunge, not unweighted. So grab a weight, again, goblet style. Um, it's fine, you can hold it here across the chest, okay, and you'll do your 50 feet. Okay, you have to go 10, 10, 
five times through, that's five. If you, only, if you can only take two steps, turn, take two steps, that's totally fine, okay? Take the steps, even if it's a short little space, turn around, take a couple steps, okay? You're not holding a ton of weight here, it will be easy to turn. Okay, so that's for tomorrow. So 20 minute AM rep. Okay, five burpees, strict pull ups. Okay, or five burpees into five pulling movements. Okay, whether it's a single arm row, okay, or an inverted row of some sort. Then, okay, you've got dips. Okay, for a set of 10, whether that's on the rings, okay, off of the box. Uh, you can even put two stools together. Okay, if they were high enough and you're strong enough to do a dip, okay, or a push up, any one of those options is fine for a set of 10. Okay, and then we've got the 50 foot walking lunge to scale if we don't have a machine, um, some sort of weight that's going to make that not brutal, but you're going to start to feel it at the end of 20 minutes. Again, it's a 20 minute workout, okay, similar to today's style. Slow and steady, constant movement, quick transitions, not a lot of rest time. Um, and yeah, that's it guys. So questions about any of the scales, again, reach out ahead of time. Um, I'll sort you out. If you have questions regarding the extra conditioning work that we're gonna do and you're not doing class, feel free to reach out, that's fine. If you're doing class, I will explain it in the class. It's not complicated. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.